Hi everybody, sorry it has been like almost two weeks since I uploaded my last video. Today I am uploading one, you guys probably have already seen it. Um, it's our Fun at the Pumpkin Patch and then I'll be uploading this one. Um, within the last two weeks a lot has happened and I just got so cut up with everything else that I didn't get a chance to record a video or to edit my other ones and upload any. So... Um, just be patient with that, and I'm sorry, and I want to apologize. Um, with that, I just want to say that this probably will be a one take. I might do a little bit of editing, but probably not. Um, so bear with me. But since the last time I talked to you guys, a lot has happened, like I said. I'm not sure if I ever went into detail about this, but my mom ran this little grocery store, and the lady that she was leasing it from sold it. And they didn't give us any warning, and they only gave us, Justin and I, and Liam four days to move out. And that was right after my surgery. So, I mean, it was like last week is when we moved out. Saturday was our last day. So, I mean, it was two weeks after I had surgery that I had to pack and get everything ready, and then we moved out. And we had applied at um, a duplex, but I haven't heard anything back yet. But as of right now, we are not going to be able to do that because a lot of other things have been going on too. So right before my surgery, I became unemployed. I do work for my dad, but if any of you guys know anything about the scrap metal business, um, or like a scrap, the scrap metal industry, um, it is not doing very well right now. Um, the scrap price is very low because China is sending over huge barges full of scrap metal cheaper than U.S. can buy it for from us. And so, of course, they're going to use China's metal. And my dad does own a salvage yard and a crushing business, and so that um, that is not doing so well right now. I do still go and volunteer and help in his office for now, but right now I am laid off. And so... Um, with that being said, like, I don't have a job. I've applied at a couple places, but, um, he hopes it's just for temporary thing. But then, um, the week that we started packing, which was last mm, Monday or last Sunday, I can't remember, um, I, or Justin got a call from my dad saying that the scrap price had dropped again and he was laid off also. And so now, as of right now, both of us are laid off. We had to move out of our house. Like, it's just been a lot going on. And so as of right now, we are living with my dad um, and his girlfriend and her two kids. We're hoping that it's not for too long, but as of right now, we just need to save money and focus on other things than having our own house. I mean, it does suck just because, like, we had it so good at the other house, and uh, rent wasn't expensive, so I mean, we were saving quite a bit of money, but um, we had to move out of there, and we just can't afford to go and rent another house and move into anywhere so quickly because it's the middle of the month um, on such short notice, and so we are just kind of stuck doing what we're doing, but I mean, I'm not too upset. I mean... I'm kind of upset, but at the same time, like, I've had a whole bunch of help. My grandparents helped me move, like, my mom and my sisters helped me move. My brother helped me move. Um, Justin helped me move. You know, so, I mean, we've just had a lot of help um, all around, but it's just been really hard from, like, having everything go so good to, uh, like, having my gallbladder removed, which, like, that wasn't too bad, but... It was like gallbladder surgery and then like being laid off and then Justin being laid off and then us having to move out and live with my dad and so it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of stressful and not having like a space of our own anymore but I mean we are adjusting and we've been living here for, it'll be a week tomorrow or no, a week tonight, it'll be so, I don't know, I mean, it's not that bad, but still, just, it's hard, but I just figured that I would let you guys know what was going on, and 
I don't know, I'm just really, really stressed and so I just wanted to know, or to, wanted to let you guys know why I wasn't <laughs> posting anything, so thank you guys for being so supportive and for being patient and, you know, still keeping up with me and everything. Um, it does mean a lot to us, but until our next vlog, I guess we'll talk to you later. Bye.